I never solicited a bribe. I've never been bribed. Uh, and, and I never sold legislation. Tonight, Larry Householder is no longer a member of the Ohio House. Lawmakers voted today to expel him from the State House. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. He went from House Speaker, one of the three most important people in Ohio politics, to no role in government in less than a year. We have team coverage on this major breaking story tonight. 10 TV's Olivia Eugenio spoke with the Householder after today's hearing. But let's start right away with 10 TV's Brittany Bailey, who watched today's hearings to see exactly how we got here. Brittany. Well, as we know, this is not the first time in his life that now former state representative Larry Householder has been under investigation, but this is the first time he has been expelled from office. In fact, it's the first time this has happened in 150 years. 75 affirmative votes, 21 negative votes. The resolution is adopted. The Larry Householder is expelled from the Ohio House of Representatives. Now, the vote was overwhelming, but the sentiment among those who spoke today was not. Many in Householder's own party stood to speak out against him, but others said they would stick with him. For many, it came down to semantics. Not everyone agreed that the allegations Householder is facing fit the definition of disorderly conduct, which is the charge that made up the basis of the House bill to expel him. But if you believe that bribery, racketeering, and money laundering rise to the level of disorderly conduct, which I do, put your name in green, send the right message to Ohio. That I won't bend, I won't break, I'm going to hold the ground, hold the line, and I'm not worried about uh, fueling my next opponent with ammunition. By all means, bring it. I'm from the valley we fight. I urge a no on this. Well, Householder himself then stood up again to proclaim his innocence and defend himself to his now former colleagues. They say the truth will set you free, and I look forward to it. But I stand in opposition to this resolution today, Mr. Speaker, because you don't have the authority to do this. I'm sorry. If you want to have an impeachment trial, let's get on with it. But an expulsion, a resolution to expel, it's very clear that this body does not have that authority and you are violating the people's will and you're taking away their vote. One of Householder's main arguments was that removing him would go against the will of the voters who did reelect him after his criminal charges were announced, but we should point out that his name was the only name on the ballot.